morning. This is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43 and today we're going to be doing a concentration workout um, focusing on your chest, your triceps, and lower body. So let's go ahead and start our warm-up. So what we're going to need for this workout is going to be a couple weights and our band that we're going to connect to the door and a mat. So and don't forget your water too. So let's go ahead and get those, or you can wait until after our warm up and you can get those available. So if you've already read what you need in the description, then you're already ready to go. So let's just work on that warm up. Now let's go ahead and punch. And just keep going. Make sure you're using those feet too. Just punching straight out in front. A couple more seconds. And we're gonna go into a reverse lunge here. Ready? Reverse lunge, arms are just gonna come up in front. Remember that with that band that we have, um, we're going to be attaching it to the door. So you're going to need like a bandana, or if you already have that nifty little kit that you can use to connect it to the door, you're going to need that. But you're going to need something that's going to be solid and stable, and your band's not going to slip out halfway through your workout. So you gotta remember always to be safe. Okay, get those arms up. Good. Look side to side. Good, okay, let's take it to a side lunge. Okay, stay on one side. That's it. Perfect. So we will be going down on the ground for one of our exercises today. So I think it's only one. We're going to do a bridge for that one. If you don't want to do a bridge, you can do a deadlift. But sometimes it's nice to do a bridge. Okay, let's do the other side, ready? Down and up. And like I said, it's time to start practicing being on the floor and then trying to get yourself back up too. But I'll give you that modification. What if we're doing a deadlift? But that's not until our third set. So we're going to do three sets of a workout, and then we'll do a little finisher at the end. Okay, coming up, okay. bend the knees slightly, let's do a torso rotation. Make sure those feet are planted firmly. Good. Make sure you're not dipping your chin down. So, you know, we always talk about form first before we add on weight or try to do something quicker. So, remember that whenever we're doing anything today, think about how you're doing it, concentrating on the muscles and making sure that they're contracting correctly and that you can feel each muscle doing what it needs to be doing. Okay, chin down and then back up. Because slowing um, an exercise down and concentrating on it, especially when you're using the band, 
oh, it's gonna make such a difference in how you work that muscle group. Okay, side to side, look over the shoulder. And when you're working out for, you know, whether it's 30 minutes, 45, or an hour, every minute counts. Alrighty, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move that out of the way. I'm gonna grab my water, bring it a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna start on the floor um, doing a chest press. Um, again, modification, you would just do a wall push-up, a wide wall push-up. So if you don't want to be on the floor to do a chest press, you can do a wide wall push-up for me. Otherwise, I'm gonna get on the floor and do a chest press on the floor and the weights are gonna be out to the side, okay? We're gonna do a narrow chest press the next time, I believe. Okay, so weights out here to the side, okay? Elbows way out. And that's how we're gonna start. So we're gonna do chest, then we're gonna do tricep, then we're gonna do a leg exercise with a little ab group uh, added into it. Okay, my back is all the way on the floor. My chin is vertical. And I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna touch the weights in the center, and I'm gonna bring them out to the side. And we're gonna do three sets of everything. And of course, we're gonna get up in between and do our next exercise. So I inhale as it goes down, exhale as I come up. And I really wanna get those elbows out as far as I can so I can feel it nice across the chest. Now I'm going across, I'm bringing the weights up in front of my chest, not in front of my head. Good. All right. And we are working for 50 seconds. And now I'm going to get up and I'm going to grab these bands. Okay. And I'm going to bend over just a little bit and I'm going to bring them down. Notice my elbows are tucked into my side. And I'm just bringing the bands down, giving it a little squeeze at the bottom. Good. Working those triceps. Really want to concentrate on getting that upper body nice and lean. Well, everything nice and lean, right? But I was noticing my flabby arms, and I thought, ah, oh, man, I'm gonna have to really start working on triceps more. Okay, keep going. You know, if you have to take a break, you shake it out and then you get back into it. Okay, so now we're gonna get nice and wide. You don't have to pick up your weights. Okay, so legs are out. We're gonna go down and do a sumo squat. Then we're gonna touch and touch. Again, down and up, touch and touch. So we're doing legs and waistline at the same time here. Kind of a twofer exercise here at the end. Because I just wanted to add just a little extra for that last exercise. Instead of making it four exercises. Good. Keep going. All right, so now we're gonna get back down on the floor. And make sure your back is happy. Get those elbows out. And we're gonna chest press again. Remember, you can do the wall push-up if you don't wanna get on the floor. Nice and wide arms. Okay. 
those elbows out. Okay, put my weights down and I'm gonna get up and go straight to my band. Grab it, lean forward just a little bit, and bring it down. Good. I'm gonna change the way my hands are. Ooh, feel it in those triceps? I'm feeling it. Are they contracting at all? Can you see my muscles? <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Gotta hold it down just a second as it goes down. Good. Oh, okay. Nice wide legs. Sumo squat, tap, tap. Get the waistline. Are we ready? So sumo squat. Now, when I come up, I give it a little squeeze in the tush. Squeeze. Tap. Tap. Come up. Squeeze. Tap. Tap. Good. Squeeze. Tap. Tap. Squeeze. Good. And we'll just keep going until our 50 seconds are up. time in the world. Ah, okay, last set. On the floor, grabbing the weights. Here we go. Okay, make sure your chin is happy, your back is happy, your elbows are going out to the side, the weight is coming over your chest. Good, you're doing a good job. And I know you're breathing right. You're not holding your breath. If you need to take a break because you're using heavier weight today, then, and you've got eight in, and you wanna take the rest of the time to rest, then do that. Okay, up I go. Bending over and squeezing. Notice my elbows aren't coming up here. I'm not popping them up. I'm holding them next to my sides. I'm just letting the forearm come up. Just bending at the elbow. Not moving the shoulder any. fatigue already. So this is the second to the last exercise in this round. Good. Okay. Last one. I almost thought I was done, but then I thought, oh wait, we still have legs. Are ready? Nice and tall. So sumo squat. Touch and touch. Down we go. Touch and touch. Down we go. Touch. So you might think, why do you put your hands like that, Joy? Well, because I kind of want to touch my elbows to my legs. And then that way I know I've gone down pretty far. Far enough. At least.
pretty close to far enough. Because, you know, the lower you go, the more you're going to work that tushy muscle and your knees. All righty. Woo! Shake it out. Drink, 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 drink. All right, so we're gonna leave the band where it is, and we're gonna do a chest fly with the band, and we're gonna use one weight and do a single tricep overhead extension. All righty, and we're going to do a side lunge with the knee up. Now, uh, I wanna do a single arm. So I'm actually going to change how many rounds we do to 10. I'm just going to add one more. Oops, wrong one. Let's see if that works. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That doesn't work. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, that didn't work either. So I've changed it to 12, sorry. So we have to do 12 rounds. So I can get that arm in there twice. I mean, because of the single. So this is a longer one, okay? Sorry. Alrighty. Turn around. Okay. We're going to open our arms up wide. You're going to lean forward. Let's do split stance. Lean forward. Bring it in front and touch. Open the arms up. You want tension when you go back behind you. Bring you in front. So this is where you want the tension because you want to have to pull it in front. And you need full control. works out. So we have single leg knees too, now that I think about it. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not even sure if that's going to work. Okay. One arm. Down and up. One. Well, 10 would have been right. <laughs> That's okay. We'll stop at 10. One arm. Keep going. So I forgot the leg was single side, single side. Okay, this side now. Ready? I'll figure it out. It's still gonna be 10 minutes. So I like to hold on. Unless your weight's lighter, you don't have to hold on. So we're going to do a side lunge on the same leg 
and then we're going to um, do a leg raise. So side lunge, leg raise, twist. There we go, twist. So not really twist, let's call it a rotation. Twist is an ugly word, right? Just a little rotation there. So let's get that leg up. So now we're going to do the other side. So we're going to start here. Just bring it up. Kind of across your body a little bit. When you plant it down. We'll just do a little rotation to the side. Then bring it back up. And then we're going to start with the chest fly again. Good. Sorry about that blazing sun in your eyes. I need to shut that after our warm up. Okay, so chest fly again. Split stance, arms out, leaning forward just a little bit. Feel that tension in your chest. Good. Ooh, open all the way back up. Make sure you feel that tension as you open your arms up, full control. Take your time. Inhale as it goes back. Exhale as you go forward. Good. Okay, and we're going to do single arm overhead again. Now, if single, if your weight is too heavy and single arm is too much, you can always hold it with both hands and do double arm. side. And down and up. Inhale goes down. Exhale as it comes up. Knees are soft. Pulling in your belly button. Protect that lower back. This one's about done. Definitely. Couple more, maybe. That's about it. Okay, let's do legs on each side and then we'll be done. I'm gonna do two sets on this one. 
Okay, leg out. Okay, so side lunge up. Good. exercise on this side. Let's get that leg out and get herself ready. Okay, here we go. Good. Kind of get yourself into a nice little rhythm here. Feels good, doesn't it? So that's going to be our last one for that round. And I'm going to change this and go back. Okay, so the next one is going to be back to our nine. And let me change that for nine minutes. Let's go down. All right, so our three exercises are going to be, um, we're going to do, uh, a reverse tricep extension. Let me get these right. So you're going to bring it out in front of you. Elbows are bent and you're going to straighten your arms out. Okay. Again, just bending the elbows. Then we're going to go on the floor and we're going to take one weight. Okay. And you're going to bring it in the middle of your chest. And we're just gonna press it up and then bring it down. So you gotta squeeze your chest together when it comes down. Then you're gonna take the other weight and we're gonna put them both on our hips, okay? We're gonna do a hip raise and a crunch. A hip raise and then a crunch, okay? For our last exercise. Now, if you're not going to be on the floor, then instead of doing the press out with the weight, you're going to come to the wall and you're going to bring your arms in closer together, maybe like this with your thumbs just touching, okay? And you're going to do a push up. So your elbows are going to go down. You know, so instead of out, okay? So you're going to go down and up for your push-up, and then for your legs, you're gonna go down into a deadlift, come up, and roll your shoulders back, okay? It'll go down, come up, roll your shoulders back, okay? So that's gonna be your modification for the bridge with the crunch, okay? That's for you, those of you that don't wanna get on the floor. Alrighty, so those are your exercises. So I'm going to leave my weights right here. And if you haven't gotten a drink of water, grab a drink of water. And here we go. Turn it around. Split stance. Let's get ready. Okay, leaning forward just a little bit. Elbows are up. Looking out in front, not down at my toes. And tricep extension. Okay. 
and we'll do three rounds of these. my arms out straight. Almost there. Oh, glad that's over. Okay, so remember push up, narrow push up. Or we're going to take this weight, one hand right over the chest, squeeze. Got to squeeze those chest muscles together at the top. Don't just lift it. You got to end with the squeeze. Now notice I have it long way on me. So I'm holding on to the bar of the weight because I want my hand really close together for this. Good. Okay, so after this, you're going to put both weights on your hips, or you're going to grab the other weight, and you're going to go down and do, you're going to grab both weights and do a deadlift, the shoulder shrug. Okay, both weights are on the hips. Bridge, crunch. Bridge, crunch. Good. And, you know, people say crunches don't do much if you know how to do them. Now when I do it, I blow up and really push down with my belly button when I do it. I try not to curl in like that. Uh, just because it does better form, you're using more muscles uh, by trying to use a flat belly. And better for your back. Up we go. Alrighty, so coming back up. And we're going to get those weights, uh, bands, sorry. Okay, so round two. So this one, you know, at first you think, oh, it's not so hard but you're really fatiguing the muscle because you get to do so many reps. <sighs> I'm gonna switch stances. <laughs> yeah, uh, that fatigue is set in. In those triceps. Whew. Oh my gosh. Okay, push up or one weight chest press. Squeeze those chest muscles together at the top, okay? Am I too far away? Can you see me? There we go. Maybe you can see me now. Good. Squeeze. So we want to keep this chest wall strong because it helps lift our chest up. We can increase our, our breasts, you know, a little bit, but of course, as we lose weight, we kind of lose our breasts. So whatever helps in that area. Some women just have more fleshy tissue there than other women. 
It's just how you're built. Some women, no matter how lean they get, will keep their fleshy tissue. And some women, that's the first place it goes. So we're all just unique that way. When I lose weight, it's always in my upper body first. Alrighty, let's do one more set. Triceps first. thing is to be healthy and to know that we're doing what we can to maintain a healthy lifestyle meeting ourselves where we're at Push up or single chest press. Not going crazy, but then not doing things so light that we're not able to optimize our fitness. Sometimes I think, oh, I'm not doing enough. So I need to take it up just a little bit more. Your body will tell you if you overdid it. Or you need to slow down just a little. All right, last set, and then we're gonna do our finisher. Okay, so weights on the hips. And then we go up, squeeze that tush, do that crunch. So I blow like I'm blowing out a candle on the ceiling. I push, I think about my belly button and I push down through my abs. I squeeze my tush as I go up. Alrighty, now that was fun. Now I hope that you enjoyed the deadlifts too. Now we're going to go ahead and put the weights off to the side and we'll take a little drink and we're gonna get on the wall for our finisher. I'm gonna change my timer and we're gonna do a 20-20 thing where 20 seconds and then 20 seconds. Okay, let me change the bottom one. And we'll do eight. So you're gonna lean up against the wall. Um, and how far down you go is, is up to you. We're going to be um, doing uh, a, a like leg type exercise here. Just make sure that you're sturdy wherever you are. Woo, my wall's cold. And that your knees are happy. Okay, so first we're gonna do wall sit and we're just gonna sit here um, for 20 seconds, ready? So we're gonna sit for 20 seconds. La la la. 
So my feet are about shoulder width apart. Okay, now we're gonna do wall kicks. Just alternating kick outs for 20 seconds. Slide up and down. Okay, now put your feet together and we're going to go in and out with our legs. kicks. Can do it. Hopefully my mat will still be there when I'm done. Okay, slide up and down. together. Okay, clam. Woo. Okay, again, sit. Okay, kick it. Okay, slides. Well sit. It's the hardest one right now, isn't it? Almost there. Okay, kick it. slides. Almost there. Okay, clams. Feet together. Step back against the wall. 
Try not to lean forward. Okay, time. Whoo! Got us, right? Perfect. All right, so let's do our cool down. Ooh, fix that. All righty. Going into our five minutes. Let's use that wall. Okay, leaning forward, one leg back. And breathe. Of course, you can pause um, and get a drink of water before you start your cool down. I hope you're doing the cool down with me. Okay, let's change legs. Good. Okay, coming back up. Okay, back against the wall. Okay, hands up. Okay, and you're gonna go out and then back up. Like you're rubbing your elbows, back your hands against the wall. I seem to have things in my way, but kind of, sort of. Okay, hold those arms out, press them back, chin is up, booties against the wall, heads against the wall. So you're opening that chest up. Excellent, okay, now walk away. Good, okay, one arm up, back of the hands touching your back. Okay, bend the knees slightly, chin is up. Okay, little side bend. Really get that tricep. And then we're gonna come up. Woo! Okay, other side. Back of the hand. Hold on. Little side bend. Good. And up. Okay, release. Okay. Cross leg over and touch the wall. Really get that hip back. Get that side. Good. Okay, so we're going to come up and we're going to scooch in just a little bit. Okay, and we're going to try to push this hip against this wall. Good. And then come back up. Okay, let's do everything the other way. Okay, so turn around. Okay, cross the leg over. Okay, and we're going to go to the wall first. Good, really good stretch through the waist. Okay, then come back up, now scooch just a little bit towards the wall, a little bit more. Okay, and then push the hip towards the wall. And if it's too easy, then you scooch away from the wall a little bit more and then get that hip towards the wall. Alrighty, and then slowly come back up. Whew, perfect. Alrighty, so let's take it into a nice side lunge. Good, and then up, and then let's take it to the other side. So hopefully that was fun for you. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Like I said, got to remember, work on those arms. So our next workout is going to be a back and bicep workout along with eggs and eggs, legs and waistline. Okay, come back up. Okay.
waist, not waist, wrists, back and forth. And of course, you know, we don't like to do everything, but we're really going to have to start working on everything. So now, go back the other way. I want you to really think about if you can go up in your weights, you know, have a lighter set available just in case. Okay, shake it out. Okay, big deep breath in. And then exhale. Again. And then exhale. One more. And then exhale. Alrighty, this is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43. We are just a bunch of people working out together. And I want you to subscribe and tell your friends and tell me what you want to do. Um, if there's something in particular that you want to work on, um, if you have a fitness question or whatever, you can ask me. Um, I'll, I'll answer it for you. If I don't know it, I'll research it and I'll find out. Um, so drink lots of water today. Go for a walk. Um, the weather's starting to get really nice, so take advantage of it. And remember, weights are best for weight loss. It changes your metabolism, makes you build muscle, and that's the key to um, youth and weight loss. So remember that and eating right, okay? Okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.